Throughout the Second World War, there are a number of spies who were captured by the enemies. The Americans even condemned a number of Germans who were found spying. They even executed a number of teenagers who were members of the Hitler Youth. But the Germans imprisoned many British spies inside of concentration camps, and a number of them were women. Inside of some camps, a number of women who had been found guilty of spying were burned alive inside of the ovens, and their stories were then told by those who survived the camp. Spies often were subjected to a harrowing ordeal of torture, and one woman who suffered at the hands of the Germans was Hannah Senesch, who had been caught trying to help Hungarian Jews who were being deported to Auschwitz. But she was subjected to a harrowing ordeal before she was executed. Join us today as we look at the execution of the female spy shot by the Germans. And to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hannah Senesch was born on the 17th of July 1921 in Hungary. Her father was a well-respected playwright and also a journalist who died when Hannah was just six. And then following his death, she then lived with her mother and her brother. Hannah had a normal school life, and she joined a Protestant private school that also accepted Jewish pupils, but those who were Jewish had to pay double, and sometimes three times the amount that Protestants paid. Her mother then believed it was too expensive, but Hannah was then considered a gifted student who had to only pay double the normal rate. But as she was from an assimilated Jewish family, she realised that life for Jewish people in Hungary was getting tougher, and that persecution was on the horizon. Following graduating in 1939, Hannah moved to the British Mandate of Palestine to study at an agricultural girls' school, and whilst the Second World War was going on, she joined a kibbutz, and then took part in a paramilitary group, which later became the Israel Defence Forces. But in 1943, being desperate to have a role in the Second World War, and to fight the Nazis, she enlisted in the British Women's Auxiliary Air Force, and she became a second-class aircraft woman but she was then recruited to become part of Special Operations Executive, or SOE. This was a British organisation that conducted many operations across Europe, and they were behind the training of the assassins that killed Reinhard Heydrich inside of Prague. Hannah Selesch was also herself a poet and a playwright, and she continued to write, and she wrote in Hebrew and in Hungarian. But following her training, she was then sent to Egypt to undergo parachute training, and to learn how to be sent into enemy territory. The Jewish community in Palestine at the time decided to send agents and parachutists behind enemy lines to help the Allies and also Jewish people inside occupied Europe and to try and help save people's lives. The mission Hannah was sent on was a dual mission between the British and the Jewish community in Palestine to create a commando unit inside the British army. Hannah Senesch volunteered for this and she was chosen along with 32 others to be dispatched and sent on missions behind enemy lines. At the time, Hungary had been allied with Nazi Germany, and the kingdom would eventually deport hundreds of thousands of Jews to concentration camps. Inside of Auschwitz in 1944, Jews and Roma from the country were sent to Auschwitz, and Rudolf Hirst, the former commandant of the camp, was even brought back to try and kill as many people as he could in around 50 murderous days. It was a dire situation for many across the country, and Germany would later occupy the country. On the 14th of March 1944, Hannah and two agents parachuted into Yugoslavia and they joined and linked up with a local partisan group. Hannah pressed on for the Hungarian border and when she got there she was arrested by Hungarian gendarmes and along with her colleagues she was taken to prison. The authorities found her British military radio transmitter which was used to communicate with SOE agents and other resistance groups and this was complete evidence which was damning. Senesch was then taken to a prison cell and she was forced to strip before she was tied to a chair and was then tortured for three days. She was whipped, beaten and battered with clubs for days and she lost a number of teeth from her ordeal. The guards were desperate to know what the code was for her radio transmitter as they wanted to find out who the other spies were to try and snare the other undercover agents. But she refused to give over any information and when she was transferred to another prison in Budapest, the beatings continued. She refused to give over any information regarding the transmitter and only revealed her name to her torturers. But then her mother was arrested and they tried to force Hannah's hand by saying the Hungarians would kill her mother if she did not give over information. But Hannah continued to refuse to give over intelligence regarding the radio. She was incredibly strong and was defiant in her stance against her interrogators, who she decided were the enemy. Her mother was brought in to her and it was said, 
On the morning of the 17th of June 1944, a man in civilian garb knocked on the door. He had a warrant for my arrest. They interrogated me. They asked about the children, especially about Hannah. The investigator asked me where Hannah was and smiling. I answered that she was in an agricultural settlement near to Haifa. He shook his head and said, she is here in the next room. The door opened. I was dumbstruck. Hannah was standing in the doorway, held by four men. Her dishevelled hair did not conceal the blue contusions above her eyes. She escaped their grips and jumped on me, sobbing. Mother, forgive me. But as she was a spy, it was incredibly dangerous for her to be inside of captivity. She was then brought to trial for treason in Hungary, as the Arrow Cross Party, who were fascist, wanted to punish her. They appointed a court to deal with her, and to begin with it looked favourable towards Hannah, as the judges wanted more time to come up with a verdict against her. But then the Arrow Cross Party instilled a judge, who was more biased against Hannah, and with this she was sentenced to death, and was to be executed by a firing squad. During the trial of another, her mother would testify that her daughter could have been saved, and that she could have been spared if she would have been given more help inside of the courtroom. But this never came. She wrote a diary in prison, and on her final day she wrote, In the month of July I shall be 23. I played a number in a game. The dice have rolled. I have lost. I love the warm sunlight. On the 7th of November 1944, Hannah Senesh was led into a courtyard in Budapest which was covered in snow. She was led out and was stood against a wall, and opposite her stood a firing squad, which had been made up of Hungarian soldiers. Snow covered the ground, and she was then approached by an executioner who offered her a blindfold. However, this man in charge then stepped back and prepared his firing squad to fire. The men were told to ready themselves, and they were told to then take aim. They raised their rifles and then fired at Hannah, instantly killing and executing her. It was said by one witness, suddenly a shot rang out, one or two shots. They were shooting in the courtyard. What had taken place? Perhaps someone was executed again, but no, that couldn't be. Surely it was just a stray bullet from the guard's rifle, close to noon. What happened? asked Fleischmann, and it was answered. The shooting, we heard the shooting. They executed Hannah an hour ago. We stood as though turned to stone. Hannah, impossible, error, error, error. Every drop of blood within me roared, every nerve ending. It could not be. Why her, of all people and not us? I felt I had to say something but the words lodged in my throat. I saw that all eyes were on me. I stammered. She was the most wonderful person I met in my life. We got up and stood in silent tribute for a long time. Afterwards we sat down without a word. They killed Hannah. They killed Hannah. Following her death, Hannah Senesh's remains and body were taken from Budapest, where they had been buried to Israel, and they were then buried in a cemetery on Mount Herzl in Jerusalem. Her tombstone was later also taken to Israel, and today she is considered a forgotten victim of the Second World War. Hannah was an incredibly brave woman who sought to try and save people's lives who were being persecuted by the Germans and Hungarians. She was a woman who wanted to help, but ultimately she was captured and she faced horrific torture and suffering inside of a Hungarian prison. But she was then led to an execution site at just the age of 23 for her role as a British spy, and she was condemned to death and was executed by the firing squad. Her story is one which is tragic and deserves to be well known. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.